We printed feet. It has human feet. It's creepy and wonderful all at the same time. This is the unboxing of the Cobra. Let's get this Cobra out of the box. So right out of the gate, we're looking at a machine with a single lead screw. I can see a tensioner right there. And this is direct drive. Bag of um, goodies. Oh yeah. The, uh, the Cobra comes with a flexible, removable build plate. That's right, and it's got a magnetic top, which means that sticks. Let's get it put together. The last thing to do is plug it in, powering on in three, two, one. Voltage selector. One thing you always have to check on these machines, 115. Let's try it again. Powering on in three, two, one. Yeah! The Cobra from AnyCubic is a more budget friendly machine and it's offering a pretty decent feature set. The most noticeable right up front is going to be this. It's direct drive. Build volume on this thing is 220 on the X, 220 on the Y, and 250 on the Z or Z. That 0.4 millimeter nozzle will go up to and top out at about 260C, while the bed itself tops out at 110C. The UI is on a 4.3 inch LCD touchscreen, and in the back, there is a single lead screw powering Z or Z. Prepare leveling auto level and it's going to preheat the bed to 60C and the nozzle to 120C. Leveling on the Anycubic Cobra. La 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 la. It looks like it's a five by five grid on the bed, which would make sense because of the size. And so we're looking at a 25 point auto leveling system. A few moments later. Perfect. 10 meters, 10 meters, 10. 10 meters of PLA. Why? I'm going to put the filament in. Got a good string coming out. Boy, that sticks. Look at that, huh? That's great. It's good news. Time to start a print. Okay, there we go. Looks like we're not close enough to the bed, so let's stop that. Okay. <laughs> So the leveling brings it, I guess, it levels the bed, but you still have to do the, the offset. Two hours later. So it says after the leveling process to do the Z offset, and I think we should do that. But it does mean having to level it again. Three weeks later. Now, according to the directions, I can hit Z offset and adjust it from here. And there we go. I've now started the time lapse. This is the first print on the machine. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'll see you in a little bit. So here it is. This is the owl. This is the Anycubic owl. And is it stuck to the build plate? Boy, it sure is. Let's scoot this back and maybe give it a... Oh, and it pops right off. Hello, owl. Let's take a look at it. Well, uh, this looks fantastic. I really, really like this. I think the owl looks good. There's a little bit of boogers right there. It looks like it was just some, some stuff left on the nozzle. I think the machine did a fantastic job. With the first print out of the way, I think it's time to print some more stuff. Yeah, I printed a few more things since that first print. The owl looked fine, and so I thought it was full send ahead. First up, the articulated rose dragon from Cinderwing 3D. 
looks great. I really wanted to test out whether or not this machine could handle all sorts of individual parts on the build plate. There are a few issues with the model that are minor because it still is connected and is articulated and I love it a lot. The machine did a great job with this thing and so it was time to throw more stuff at it. Printed place is fun and when it's tall, it's even more fun and that's why I went with this clock spring neutron tube. It's a fantastic design from clock spring. I think everything looks good on this and I was really impressed with the way it did the threading, how this was print in place and how this hinge was also print in place and it just, it just worked right off the build plate. I did print that propeller right there and it goes to this toy right here. And then if I pull this, it should fly up into the air. <laughs> Launching in three, two, one. Success! Yes! There was also something kind of funny that we printed because we had beige-ish filament loaded on the machine. And wh what better thing to do with a flesh tone filament than to print something flesh colored? And that's why we printed feet for this 3D printer. This is an Ender 3 V2 and it has human feet. This printer has human feet. It's creepy and wonderful all at the same time. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. One thing I think was really interesting and, and part of my, my first use experience was this, with this machine was with these. These are print in place chip clips. They are a fantastic design. They are easy to print and they showcase something really special. There is a very, very small column of support that is printed along with these because it's print in place and it has a piece of geometry that spans a distance and you don't want it to sag. So it just needs a tiny bit of support to hold it up so that it can build it properly and so it can go round, round, round. Before this, I was having issues with adhesion on this build plate. I tried glue stick and I tried magic goo and that was holding things down just fine. But then I remembered with this being powder coated PEI, there is that trick where you can wash it really well with some dish soap. So with a fresh, clean dish show, <laughs> I can't even say it. With a fresh, clean dish <sighs> I cleaned it with dish soap and then I printed with it and it, and it held onto these unbelievably well. And just like that, I now have a plethora of chip clips that work. And all I need now is like a dozen bags of chips. Snack time! So where do we stand on the Cobra from AnyCubic and it as, as a first run experience? So far, the prints look really good. We did get past an initial problem with bed adhesion and all it required was some time in the kitchen with, with some dish soap. The auto leveling on this thing works and it's really nice to have. I don't know why they went away from the Viper and Cobra Max style of bed leveling. I don't know why they went away from that, but they did and it still works just fine. At time of filming, now prices can change, but at time of filming, you can pick this up from the AnyCubic website for $299 US. Alternatively, if you'd rather shop on amazon.com, you can get this machine from the AnyCubic store on Amazon for $319. At the end of the day, this seems to be a budget-friendly 3D printer with a decent feature set that prints really well. And with that, I would like to thank AnyCubic for making this first experience possible. Links are in the description if you wanna find out any more. And thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Print all the things. And as always, high five. Cobra, la, 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 la,